A recent government paper stated that 85% of New Zealand homes are underinsured by 25 to 50%. Now, this has devastating consequences for any homeowner. Should they be struck by a natural disaster, as we have seen over the last few years with flooding, earthquakes and fires? So, what do we need to do? Well, my good friend Andy Thompson from Construction Cost Consultant is here to help. Good old, how are you, Andy? You good? I'm good. Thanks. I was going to say, good old Andy's coming today to help <laughs> us out. Um, nice that we're working together, and I'm really passionate about what you do. When, the, when we say we uh, are underinsured, what exactly do you mean when we say that? So when you take your insurance policy out, your insurer will ask you how much you're going to insure for, mm -hmm. how, it's, and they've made it a sum insured. So you state the value and that's all you'll get if something happens. Right, So, but we trust our insurance companies to give us the value though, don't we? They don't give you the value, they won't tell you the value, it's up to you to go to a professional and get a value and they'll tell you that when you take your insurance out. Quite staggering numbers when you look at Kiwis, and let's face it, we've gone through a few disasters, so people yep. are probably used to this scenario. When you are underinsured, what happens when you go to rebuild your house? So you could end up uh, building a smaller house, or building a house that's not as good a quality, or in worst case scenario, you could end up with no house. Right, and nobody wants that. No. And I'll be completely honest, I have gone through this process yep. with you, and I was quite underinsured, wasn't yep. I? So to put it into context, if I was to rebuild my house if it got washed away, then I would have probably been about $200,000 short. Yep, exactly. And exactly. is that a common problem? It's, it's a huge problem. 85% of the country are underinsured, and that's a government statistic. That's not something we've come out with. So it's huge, and it amounts to about 150 to $200 billion worth of underinsurance. Considering that the, the GDP is $300 billion, that's a huge issue. Mm. Yeah, no, it is. And I guess for people's, you know, homes and property, the best thing about getting somebody else to value it for you in terms of insurance rebuilds is you've actually got, this is what I like, mm. a statement of what you've got. Things like retaining yep. walls, things like little sheds, everything's there. Is that one of the benefits of getting yep. this done? So we, we'll, we'll detail everything out. We call it an elemental breakdown. An element is something like uh, paint or um, uh, labour. So a labour plant material is how we price everything right. and we'll break it right down to the, the smallest thing. So if you take a length of timber, a QS will know how long it takes to cut that bit of timber. He'll know how many screws is in that bit of timber and he builds your house from that. Right, a QS quantity survey. Quantity survey, okay, yeah. OK, cool. I know, cause you, you got your little accent going on there, so I'm just clearing <laughs> it up for everybody, Andy. Um, I'm struggling with yours as well. Oh, 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 oh tough. <laughs> OK, um, what happens, though, is that all of a sudden, if it's going to cost us more to rebuild our house, doesn't that increase our insurance premiums? What sort of cost are you looking at there? So um, if you increase your insurance premium by, say, $100,000, the average is between $6 and $12 a month to do that. That's really where you're looking at. So it's not a lot of money over a year. It's not a lot of money. OK, and um, what sort of service do you give people to give them that peace of mind? You've given it to me. Can you explain yep. to everybody else yep. what, they'll, what they'll get? So we, we'll, send a quant uh, we'll send a surveyor out to do the survey. Um, he'll measure your whole house. And then once he's done that, we'll give you a report, which will break down every element of the property. And then we'll price it all. And we'll guarantee that for two years, so you can rebuild that. The, the price that we give you, we guarantee you can rebuild that. So if we overprice it or under, if we underprice it, we'll put them, we'll top it up. We've got an insurance policy that covers that. So it's not me saying I'll do it myself. Um, it's an insurance company that will do that for us. That's quite fascinating because how do insurance agencies know what to insure their house for then if they're not coming out and doing what you're doing, taking a good look at it, writing things down, taking photos? How do they, how do they know? Well, they started with a, a thing called a default sum, right. which is to get everybody onto the sum insured. It only happened after the earthquakes in Christchurch um, because they didn't know their liability, the insurance company. So then they came up with a default sum and it was under, but it got everybody over to a sum insured. And now they're telling everybody you need to make sure you're insured properly because the risk's on you as the customer right. to make sure your house is insured properly. It is peace of mind and you can do that. What other advice would you give to people that are watching right now? Because there's probably a lot of people going, I don't know actually where my insurance sits. Yep. What do I do? I would definitely go and speak to somebody, a uh, professional or, or somebody that, a specialist in insurance, i.e. a broker. Um, and they'll give you independent advice and they'll speak to all the different insurance companies.
Nice. Well, I found the process really easy. We're going to make it easy for you watching at home as well. I just want to say thanks, Andy, because I know you're passionate about this, aren't you? I mean, yeah, you, yeah, you want to make yeah. sure everybody in New Zealand is covered to the right value. So if you'd like to find out more, it's very easy. Just text the word HOUSE to 244 for more information. Or, of course, you can visit costconsultant.co.nz. Thank you, Andy. Thanks Thank for being you. on the show. Thank you.